month, it's not the month of Christmas, okay? Although we, we can't celebrate Christmas, okay? I'm not saying that's occultic or there's false teaching or yada yada. Just to give you some truth and sound doctrine, Christmas is not the time where Jesus was born, okay? But still, it's it's good to use for uh, evangelization and for preaching and sharing the gospel and to have hopeful spirits and attitude. It's all good. But the month of December, Kislev, is the month in the Hebrew calendar of Hanukkah. Someone say Hanukkah. Okay, come on now. Someone say Hanukkah. It is the month of Hanukkah. Okay, it's the month of Hanukkah. And I want to talk to you of, of just real quickly about the story of Hanukkah. Okay, the story of Hanukkah has to do with these things. has to do with the miracles, manifestation, and multiplication. And that is my three points, my three prophetic points for you in this month of December. Kisla, Kisla. Because I'm going to share my prophetic word for the month of December, okay? I believe December is the month of miracles. Someone say miracles. I believe that December is the month of miracles, okay? And let me tell you why, all right? Uh, December is, is not the time. This is not the time where Jesus was born, okay? Although I love... Uh, although I, I love using it when you go around the world because a lot of Muslims, a lot of Buddhists, you know, uh, they celebrate in a sense Christmas because Christmas is the American Western thing to do. And so I love, you know, uh, Christmas is an incredible, important thing to use to evangelize and to talk to people about the gospel of Jesus. That's an incredible tool. Someone say tool, all right? Christmas uh, is not the time where Jesus was born, all right? This month in December is not the month where Yeshua was born. It's not the month where Jesus Jesus was born, but it is still a month of miracles. And I want to tell you today uh, uh, that in this whole month of December, you better expect miracles. Okay, I know many of you, you're down to the last batch. You're down to your last wits. You're down where you feel like you've been pressed down and broken. You feel like you've become nothing. But I'm telling you today that in the month of December and these last five weeks of 2019, God is going to cause you to go from empty and lack to overflow. God's going to cause you to go from empty and lack to overflow, all right? I'm telling you in this month of December, it is a month of miracles. Are you ready for a miracle? Are you ready for a supernatural manifestation of the power and the grace and the hand of God in your life. If you're ready, someone say amen. I'm telling you, December is the month of miracles, and I want to tell you why. You need to expect these things, okay? First and foremost, I want to tell you about the whole history of, of December. December in the Hebrew, all right? Uh, remember, I always like to t uh, teach and talk Hebrew because that's the original language of the Bible. That's the original language of the Torah, okay? That is the original language of God. I believe that was released on earth, okay? It was not Arabic. It was Hebrew, okay? It was not Sanskrit. It was not English. It was Hebrew, okay? But I want to tell you, uh, December, this month in the Hebrew calendar, it is Kislev. Someone say Kislev. K-I-S-L-E-V. I know a lot of people are still sleeping right now, but wakey, wakey, shaky, baky, in Jesus' name. Bang, bang, bang. All right, December is the month of Kislev in the Hebrew. K-I-S-L-E-V. K-I-S-L-E-V. Okay, and Kislev, it comes from the root word. Okay, you guys are going to be learning today, this morning, or wherever you watch from on the replay. So do give us some hearts, lights, and do share. I know a lot of people are, are either at church or they're sleeping right now, which is a good thing. But I want to tell you, Kislev in the original root word is Kisla or Kessel. Kisla or Kessel. All right, if not Tesla, Kisla. K-I-S-L-I-A or Kessel. And this word means to hope. Okay. This word means to have positivity, not positive vibes, but this word means to have positivity and to hope. Are you hoping in the Lord? Do not be weary, all right, in doing good, for you shall hope in doing good. And this word uh Kisla or Kislev means to hope. Or to have positivity. Because this was a month. December is a month. Kislev is the month where the people of God would hope for rains. We're hoping for rains. And we're in a hopeful attitude. We're in a hopeful attitude of gratitude. So we should be expecting rains. And so this is a month. Kislev, Kislev. December is a month of miracles. Because we're expecting rain. Someone say amen. Someone say I am expecting God to rain upon my life. Not rain havoc. But rain upon my enemies. To rain upon my blessings. To rain blessings. To rain in every single sphere. And 
and field of my life. I'm telling you, in this month of December, the Holy Ghost is going to rain down showers of blessings. It's going to release an outpouring and a flood of the power and the presence of God. So in this month of December, in this month of December, it's Kislev in the Hebrew calendar, which means the hope and the expectation and the positive hopefulness for rain. Someone say amen. I'm telling you right now, God's about to rain in this month of December. He's going to rain on your depression. He's going to rain on your sadness. He's going to rain on your doom and gloom. He's going to rain down. And when it, whenever it rains the Holy Spirit, it means that there's provision. It means that there's protection. All right. I'm telling you right now that God is about to rain upon your life in Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. So that's what Kisla means. And also Kisla is it, it, this month is also known as the month of dreams. Someone say dreams. Someone say, I am a dreamer. You are a dreamer. Have you been in the pit, you dreamer? Have you been in the prison, you dreamer? All right, Joseph was a dreamer, but he was in the pit. I'm telling you, God's bringing from the pit to the prison to the palace. And this is a month where God is promoting the dreamers. This is a month where God is igniting and promoting the dreamers. This is a month to dream. And I believe in this month in December, Kisla, Kisla, he's saying, I want you to dream again. I want you to dream again. Listen, I've, I've had two dreams uh, as I've been here in Santa Barbara the last few days because I've been crying out to God. I've been needing breakthrough. But God is saying, this is the month where I am promoting and anointing the dreamers to dream again because it's your dream life that prophesies of what's to come. And God is saying, this is not a time for you to back down, but it's a time for you to dream. I want you to dream again. I believe the Lord is breaking the lids and the limitations off of your dream life. Life. So in the month of Kislev and Kisla, as uh, it's a month of the expectation and the hope of rain, the Lord's about to cause your dream life to upgrade. So I want to pray into that right now, because I believe many of you have been dreaming, and many of you are asking for signs and for encounters and for visitations in your dream life, and in, in the nighttime season, in the dark valley of the shadow of the night, in the dark night of the hour of the midnight time. I believe the Lord is wanting to release dreams to give you in sight to give you revelation to give you illumination the lord is going to uh, visit you in dreams and you're going to it's going to be so clear listen i prophesy now that the lord jesus christ himself is going to be is going to be encountering you in dreams in this month come on Set up a, I prophesy now that the Holy Spirit is going to give you revelation and strategy. The Lord is going to give you clarity. He's going to give you hope. Someone say hope. He's going to give you hope in these dreams. He's going to meet you in this time. So now I pray fire, fire, fire. I pray for the dream stream of the Lord. Oh, shut up. Baba. What is the opposite of dreaming? The opposite of dreaming is depression. So God is breaking depression off of you and is releasing the dreams of God. You will dream again. You will hope again. So in this month of Kisla, Kisla, Kisla of Kessel. It is a month of dreaming. It is a month of the rains of God being poured out. Come on, just receive that right now. Rabo Tababa, in this month of December, expect miracles because it's a month of dreams. It's a month of rain. It is a month of outpouring in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to pray to that right now. Give us some hearts and likes right now. Rabo Samandabo. Thank you, Lord. Fire, 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 fire. Thank you, Lord. I believe right now someone's getting breakthrough. I believe right now someone's getting miracles. Someone's getting deliverance right now. Thank you, Lord, that the month of December, every all five weeks until we end. In 2019, it will be marked and anointed with miracles. It will be marked and anointed with miracles. So, Lord, I thank you right now that you're releasing deliverance right now. You're releasing healing. Release angels of deliverance to wherever the people of God are. Release angels of deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray right now that you will bind every confusing spirit and you will release healing virtue now, now, now. It's time for you to dream again. Someone say amen. Listen, real quick. Uh, I want to I want to give you some history of what happened in the month of December. If you're enjoying this, give us some hearts and likes and do share right now. Amen, people of God. Listen, in this month, it's not the month of Christmas, okay? Although we, we can't celebrate Christmas, okay? I'm not saying that's occultic or there's false teaching or yada yada. Just to give you some truth and sound doctrine, Christmas is not the time where Jesus was born, okay? But still, it's it's good to use for uh, evangelization and for preaching and sharing the gospel and to have hopeful spirits and attitude. It's all good. But the month of December Kislev is the month in the Hebrew calendar of Hanukkah. Someone say Hanukkah. Okay, come on. Someone say Hanukkah. It is the month of Hanukkah. 
Okay, it's the month of Hanukkah, and I want to talk to you of, of just real quickly about the story of Hanukkah. Okay, the story of Hanukkah has to do with these things, has to do with the miracles, manifestation, and multiplication. And that is my three points, my three prophetic points for you in this month of December. Kisla Kislev. This month of December, you expect three things. Miracles, okay? Miracles, manifestation, and multiplication. Now, I want to talk to you about the story of Hanukkah because this is a supernatural story. Or it's not one of the seven feasts of God, but it is still a festival to the Jewish people where God intervened. Okay, someone say intervene. God is intervening in your life where God intervened and he showed up and showed off. Are you ready for God to show up and show off? Are you ready for God to intervene because there is an open window of eight days called Hanukkah. Do you know that in the eight days of Hanukkah, he took the Lord Holy Spirit, took a little jar of olive oil, and he made it to last for eight days. It was eight days of multiplication. I'm telling you right now, God is turning your small into many. God is turning the least into the first. He's turning your least into the many. He's turning your small, and he's going to multiply it to last for eight days, okay? So I'm telling you in this month, there's a realm and a grace and an anointing for multiplication. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I'm telling you right now, people of God, He's turning your lack into overflow to multiplication. You will be the head and not the tail. And just like Joseph, he was in the pit and he became a, a prince into the palace. The Lord's going to cause you uh, to be the lender and not the borrower. If you receive that, say amen. So I'm going to tell you real quick about the history of, of Hanukkah. Because it's so prophetic in nature and it's interwoven and intervened by God in every facet and fabric of it, okay? Now, I am, an, I am a historian. I believe we've got to get our facts straight, okay? So the story of Hanukkah, it goes like this. I hope you guys hear me. Please sh and like and share because this is going to minister to you, all right? The story of Hanukkah is, is about this. The, the second temple of Israel, the second temple was infiltrated by Syrian, uh, by a Syrian army, okay, by the Syrian Greeks, okay. So the second temple was infiltrated by the Syrian Greeks. Imagine your temple, you, your body, your life, your church. Imagine your temple. It was ransacked. And it was filled with idols, all right? Right now in this month of December, the Lord is taking away... Uh, the idols in your heart. He's taken away the idols in your temple. And that's the story of Hanukkah. Because there was a man named, uh, uh, help me Lord, Matinyahu. Okay, there was a man named, uh, there was a man named Matinyahu. Matinyahu. There was a man named Matinyahu who was so furious about this abomination. He said, enough is enough. No more are, are, are these uh, Assyrian Greeks. No more are these people over us are going to make us do these certain things we don't want to do. Okay, because these, this kingdom was trying to uh, uh, turn all of the Jewish people and was trying to convert them and uh, release perversion and cause them to fall away from their Jewish traditions and their Jewish ways. So there was an abomination. They were sacrificing and making them eat pigs, okay? Which is an abomination. And so there was an abomination happening at the temple. But one man, someone say one man, one person, one woman, all it takes is one person, all it takes is one act, all it takes is one act of obedience. But one person person, Matityahu, he stood up and he said, enough is enough. We're not going to tolerate this anymore. I'm not going to let the devil bash me. I'm not going to let you use and abuse me and to speak lies over me. I'm not going to let you step onto my land, onto my territory. But one person, one man named Matityahu stepped up to the plate and he pushed this person over. And that caused a whole revolution. I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a revolution in your life because one act of boldness, one act of courage is going to overturn the kingdom of, of darkness and the hand of the enemy over your life. One person named Mati Yahu, he said, enough is enough. Some of you right now, you, you've come to your wit's end. Some of you right now, you've come to the end of yourself and you're like, man, enough is enough. And I pray right now that the spirit of boldness of Mati Yahu will come where God is going to overturn the tables and he's going to clean out the temple. He's going to turn away and throw out all of the idols in the temple of your body and the temple of your soul. I'm telling you right now, the Lord is restoring the temple. 
And the Lord is healing uh, uh, the temple. And right now he's releasing purity and he's cleaning out all of the old in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Okay, so this one person in Mati Yahu stepped up to the plate. I believe that's you. And eventually his son, all right, you guys got to hear this. This is so incredible. His son, uh, which is named Judah Strong, his son Judah Strong took the mantle of his father took the mandate of his father, his son named Judah Strong. And of course, Judah means praise. So it's going to be praise that keeps you strong. This one man named Mati Yahu released the importation of the mandate to his son, the next generation, named Judah Strong. And Judah Strong was known as Judah the Maccabee. Someone say Maccabee, okay? Now the Maccabee was a rebel group of Jewish people. It was a band of thugs. It was a band of prophets. It was a band of people who began to gather and say, enough is enough. And these people called the Maccabees... I'm telling you guys, there was such a grace and a strength upon their lives because the Lord will use the foolish things of the earth and will bring glory to his name. He will put down the shame. He will put down the evil and the wicked and he will use the foolish things of the earth. And so the Lord used this one person named Mati Yahu and his son, Judah Strong, who is also known as Judah Maccabee. Now, this is the Hanukkah, this month of December. Kislev is really about the story of the Maccabees because there was a small group that destroyed 40,000 Assyrian uh, Greeks. All right, it was a small group of Jewish brothers that destroyed 40,000, that defeated 40,000. Listen, it may look like there's 1,000 on your left and 10,000 on your right, but the Lord's going to use your little, and he's going to use it to defeat the much. If you believe it, say amen. And during that time frame, all right, during that time frame, all they had was one little jar of oil. All they had was one little jar of oil, and they needed... And, you know, of course, you need oil uh, to light up the lamp. You need oil to have vision. You need oil to have light. You need oil to see. Because, but then miraculously, this one little jar of oil that was enough for one day, it continued to multiply and last for eight days. And that's the story of Hanukkah. That is the story of how God protected the Jewish people. That's the story of how God used this little menorah. And just to let you know, the menorah and the Star of David, these are the two most important symbols in all of the Jewish people. The menorah and the Star of David. Now, the menorah is the lamp or the lampstand. Come on, I declare right now, the Lord is causing your lampstand to burn with fresh oil. The Lord is causing your lampstand to burn with oil and it's going to multiply and it's going to shine bright. And that's why Hanukkah is called the festival of lights. I'm telling you right now, if you've been in a doom and gloom, if you've been in a dark place, the Lord's going to use you, you as a menorah, and he's going to take that one little pint jar of oil that was going to supposed to last for one day. Listen, people wanted you to die. People wanted you to stop. But he said, I have a greater plan for you. So he caused the one day to multiply and to last for eight days until you have full victory over all the Assyrian Greeks, over all of your enemies, over every single enemy of your soul. The Lord's going to take that one little piece of thing is going to use it to multiply and your menorah which is a lampstand is going to stand strong for the rest of the age i wish somebody heard me right now the menorah is the lampstand do you know that jesus is the menorah do you know that yeshua is the menorah do you know that in uh, uh in the, in the wilderness, when Moses encountered a burning bush, do you know that the burning bush was a menorah, which was Jesus? The menorah is the menorah is the lampstand. And, and in this time, the Lord is saying, my lampstands, you, you will not burn out, but you will burn bright. You will not burn out, but you will burn bright. You will not burn out, but you will burn bright, not just for one day, but for eight days. You thought you only had enough to burn today, but I am giving you enough oil so that you can burn for a longer time for the generations to come and so that you will have victory over your enemies. Because as long as the light shone in the darkness, the Maccabees were able to have victory over their enemies. That's the Festival of Lights. That is the story of Hanukkah.
That is what the Lord did with the Maccabees, with one person, with a band of misfits, with a band of people that said, we want to do what's right in the eyes of the Lord. And instead of tolerating the evil sins of the day, instead of falling, succumb to the evil spirit of perversion, to all of what the Syrian Greeks are doing with the abomination of the temple, instead, we're going to overturn and defeat them. And we're going to use a little jar of oil and God's going to anoint it and multiply it. And there's going to be illumination and vision and in that day it's going to be from one to eight days and the Lord's going to release eight days of new beginnings over your life and in that time uh, the Lord is going to release a, a grace for you to overturn all of your enemies and to defeat the enemies of your soul praise the Lord that's why this month Kislev is the month of miracles that's why it's the month of manifestations. That's why it's the month of multiplications. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> but you need to be like Judah Strong, like Matiyahu. You need to be like Judah Strong, Judah the Maccabee. The, you need to be like the Maccabees that are bold. Don't give up, people of God. Don't be weary. Don't throw in the towel. I know a lot of you right now, even if it's month of December, you're like, man, I want to give up. I want to give in to temptation. I want to fall. I, I, I don't even want to look at my enemies. I don't even want to face the day. I don't even want to look at the mountain. I don't even want to get out of bed. But God is saying in this month of December, I want you to dream again. I want you to be like the Maccabees that are standing up and saying enough is enough. I'm not going to tolerate the devil anymore. I'm not going to partner with the spirit of lies anymore. I'm going to cut it at the root. I'm going to cut it at the head. I'm going to uproot it now. And you need to be like a Maccabee that's going to stand up and say enough is enough. And as you do that, the Lord's going to bless you. As you do that, there's going to be provision. As you do that, he's going to turn your little jar, your little pint of oil that was supposed to last for one day. is going to make him multiply. Someone say multiply. I speak right now the lord is going to release the spirit of multiplication over your finances the lord is going to release a spirit of multiplication over your prayers the spirit of multiplication over the oil of your intimacy i know right now a lot of you guys are like oh jesus we need oil we need oil i don't want to burn out but god is saying i'm going to multiply what you give me even as the holy spirit came forth and he said i'm going to multiply the oil and he broke the debt of financial lack he broke Broke the debt of financial lack over the widow through the mouthpiece and the prophet and the vessel of Elisha. The Lord's going to do it with you. That is the story of Hanukkah, the festival of lights. And of course, the menorah is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the lampstand. Jesus is the lampstand. And he's saying, you will stand strong till the end of the age. You will stand strong as a lampstand and I will increase. Come on, you better hear me. I will increase your sphere and your circumference. Your authority, I will increase your visibility, says the Lord. Those who are who stand pure on my side, I will increase your visibility. I will increase your vision. I will increase your provision, says the Lord. Come on. This is the month of the Maccabees. This is the month of Judah Strong. This is the month of the ones who stand up in boldness. So I believe right now the Lord is going to release miracles in this month of December. In this month of December, the Lord's going to release miracles. He's going to release a manifestation. Manifestation of what? A manifestation of the greatest things that the world has ever seen. All it takes is one person, one act, one step of courage. Come on, step out of the boat. Step out and do something that you've never done before. Take a risk in this month. Hallelujah. He's going to release a manifestation. Praise the Lord. He's cleaning out the temple. The Maccabees were freedom fighters. The Maccabees were warriors. And although there was only a few of them, they were a band of misfits. Still, the Lord used these band of misfits, the Maccabees, to defeat 40,000 plus of the most sophisticated, the most dangerous, the most militant kingdom of all time. The Lord will take their little and he will multiply it. Someone say hallelujah. Amen. Someone say hallelujah. Listen, I want to say one more thing before we close here. Before I close with a, a, a prayer right now. My gosh. You know, in this month of December, there's it's the festival of lights. Hanukkah is a festival of lights. And I believe right now that the Lord is purifying your oil. He's purifying your oil. Even as 
met in Yahoo and Judas throne of the Maccabees, they took back the temple. I'm telling you right now, you are about to take back your temple, the temple of your head. You're about to take back the temple lobe of your mind. You're about to take back your temple. Someone say, I'm taking back the temple. Someone say, I'm taking back the treasures of the temple. I am taking back my time in the temple. So this is a month, December Kislev, is a month where you're taking back the temple and you're instituting holy worship back to the Lord. Your menorah will shine bright. Your menorah will burn bright. It will shine strong. Your menorah in this month of December, you will be pure. You will be holy. There will be vision. There will be visitation. And the Lord is going to cause you to so shine that it's going to give hope. It's going to give blessings. Even in the dark night of the hour, even when darkness tries to surround you, the Lord has said it's time for you to shine strong because the dreamers are going to dream. Remember, Kislev also means this month in December in Hebrew. It also means the month of dreams. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Listen, I, I want to close in prayer here right now because I believe December Kislev, it's the month of miracles and manifestation and multiplication. It's the month of miracles, manifestation, multiplication. I'll tell you this honestly. Do you know how how personally, you probably don't notice, but I, I've been feeling personally even defeated. I've been, I've been feeling so stressed even in the last few weeks just because of certain things going on and happening. And I know the Lord's been meeting with me and dealing with me. That's why I've been needing to separate myself. And I've been needing to get an encounter with the Lord. It's, it's what he's doing in this time and this season. And the Lord has said, I'm purifying your oil. I'm cleaning the temple. And I'm causing your menorah to stand. And not only will you burn bright and not only will you shine for one day, but you will shine for eight days. Eight, which stands for new beginnings. So I'm saying, hallelujah. New beginnings. I'm speaking new beginnings into you right now. I'm speaking new birthings into you right now. I'm speaking new beginnings because your menorah, your lampstand, will release a new beginnings wherever you go. December is a month of miracles. It's a month of manifestation. And it's a month of multiplication. You may feel like you have a little bit. Just like the boy who came before Jesus with five loaves and two fishes. You're like, man, poor little me. Man, I got nothing to give. I got nothing to show up. I got nothing. But this is a month where God's going to show up and show off. He's going to say, your one act of courage, your one act of faith and obedience, it caused the heavens to come and to move with you. And it caused the Lord of hosts to back you up. I'm taking my temple back. I'm taking my oil back. I'm taking my treasures back. I'm taking it all back. It doesn't belong to the Syrian Greeks. It doesn't belong to these people. But it belongs to the Lord God Most High. Someone say amen and hallelujah. So I'm going to pray right now. That the Lord will multiply everything you're doing. The Lord will multiply. Oh, Jesus. I want to pray right now over you, right? Oh, Jesus. That you will have courage to face the day. You will have courage. You will have courage. So that you will step up and step out in boldness. And as you do so. The Lord's going to release miracles. The Lord's going to manifest His power and His goodness. The Lord's going to show up. Hallelujah. And He's going to multiply all of your efforts. Remember, this month, it's not the month of where Jesus was born. Although we can celebrate that, but it's the month of rain. It's the month of, of Hanukkah. It's the month of the Festival of Lights. And of course, the Festival of Lights, the menorah, Jesus, Yeshua, is the menorah. He's going to shine in your life, people of God first love is going to shine bright in your life today in the month of December it's the month of the festival of lights it's a month of miracles so I want to pray for you right now Lord I pray for my friends I pray for my family I pray that you will meet them right where they are right now and I pray that you will give them courage just like Judah strong I pray that you know you can only be strong when you're like Judah you can only be strong when you have praise you can only be strong when praise and worship goes first Fire! Lord, I pray for all my friends right now watching on the on the live and the replay that you will give them strength as they praise your way. I declare right now you are praising your way out of this. You're praising your way out of the pit. You're praising your way out of the prison. And you're praising your way into the palace. 
Father, I pray. Thank you, Jesus, for all of my friends watching right now. Yes, Lord, just like the Maccabees, where they destroyed all the idols, where they defeated the enemies, and they took back the temple, and they rededicated the temple back to the Lord. This is the month of rededication. This is the time of rededication. All of these five weeks of December till the end of 2019 is a month of rededicating your temple, your body, everything you have in your own back to the Lord Jesus. And he's going to shine bright. He's going to increase your influence and your sphere of authority. And he's going to multiply you in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you feel like all you have is a little bit enough oil just for one day? The Lord's going to multiply that. The Lord's going to multiply that. Just give it to him. Trust in him. Have courage. Have boldness. Step up and step out and watch the Holy Spirit do it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Listen, guys, I love you. Happy December. I'm expecting miracles to abound. I'm, I'm expecting um, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit to come forth. Just like the Maccabees. Just like Matthew Yahoo. And just like Judah Strong. And I'm expecting God to multiply everything in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. If you receive it, say amen. If you receive it, say amen. December is a month of miracles. Get ready, people of God. Get ready. God's about to do something supernatural in your family. God bless you guys. Thanks for joining me today, this morning. Like I said, I want to see you guys in Hawaii this week. There's going to be a lot of uh, great Facebook lives coming forth from our sessions. So um, do watch us. And do keep me in prayer. Afterwards, I'll be going to India. I'll be going to Delhi. And then afterwards, I'll be in Bangkok and Chiang Rai, uh, um, Thailand for the first time. And I'll be back uh, in L.A. and Orange County for our Christmas week and time. But let's end this year strong. Five weeks of supernatural grace and overflow. I speak grace oil, supernatural anointing in your life. The Lord's going to fill you up. You feel like you only have enough for one day, but the Lord's going to multiply and overflow and spill it over for eight days. Amen? In Jesus' name. Amen? Happy December. Alright? It's a celebration of the Festival of Lights. He's turning the light on in every room of your heart, in every room of your being. He's turning the light on. Shine bright. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord comes upon you. Happy December, people of God. God bless you. See you soon.